Hello everyone, today we're going to show you how to install the Test Lloyd speedometer display for Model 3 and Model Y. Let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the second row and pry open this center console box using the pry tool that's provided. So the cover comes off exactly like that and those are the clips that hold it in place. And that blue connector is what we're going to open today. The blue tab, what you're going to do is you're going to press the end and apply pressure on it and push the blue connector out. And then you're going to take the connector provided to you in the Tesloid speedometer box and you're going to connect that side first. Push the excess wire in so we can have a clean installation. And now you can do a quick test by connecting the two wires that are provided to see if the speedometer turns on and that's exactly what we have here. That means it's on, it's, it's displaying the battery percentage. And make sure you position the speedometer to your liking, that should be right in the middle so it's right in your vision as you look to the road. So then use the wire and then put it inside in the vent where it's not noticeable and then push it back in. And then the next step we're going to do is we're going to open that uh, panel box to the side. And there you go, you open that and you open the side panel as well. What you're going to do is you're going to root the cable inside rubber slash plastic that's on the edge of your um, door. And then what we're going to do is we're going to close the both of the panels and go on to hiding the cable next. There you go. You can just push it inside underneath the rubber. Using the pry tool, uh, make sure that the plastic is hidden underneath the rubber. There you go, and you just push that right back in, and you're ready to move on to the next step. We're gonna grab the wire, make sure it's hidden underneath that rubber, and route it all the way down using the same rubber. So route it all the way underneath and once it's completely hidden now we're ready to move on to the next step. Use the pry tool to make sure that the wire is completely hidden. You don't want the wire dangling out any time.
and there you go now it's completely hidden what we're gonna do next is we're gonna route the wire underneath the seat and underneath the rails it cannot be just underneath the seat it has to go underneath the rails there is a gap that i'm going to show you right here disconnect these wires and what we're going to do is we're going to connect them at the bottom there's that gap underneath there's a dip there the rail is raised so the wire goes underneath the rail where the dip is where the little gap is this way we make sure that the wire is never interrupted and underneath the second rail And then now we're going to connect these two. And roll the wire together and there's a little carpet opening underneath. Just shove the wire underneath. This way it's not being seen or this way it's never interrupted when uh, people sit in and out of the car. That's the carpet opening right there. You just shove the wire inside. Right there, now you see it's a clean installation. You cannot see the wire underneath the seat. Next step, what we're gonna do is make sure we push the any excess wires inside the little space, route that wire underneath. Make sure there's no excess wire anywhere. Now, now it's the final step. We grab that little cover and align the clips and push it back in. There you have it, the installation is complete. Enjoy your Tesloid speedometer for your Model 3 and Model Y. Cheers.